Join me, Bex from the Wide Boot Company, as I head to the Royal Windsor Horse Show 2024 to go and help on the stand for Raised Spirit CBD. So these are the outfit choices that I had to go through to try and narrow it down. Obviously, you never know what the weather's going to be like at the moment, but I took this lovely Welly Goggs coat as well in, in case it was going to be horrible weather. And obviously the best choice was to wear my all of Spanish suede boots. I am still able to get these made as a pre-order. So if you're interested in some of these for a wider fitting calf, please do get in touch. These are the grey version that I also have and I love. So here I am in the final outfit choice on the stand. And this is with Joe, who is the owner of Ray Spirit and Hempine. So I'm here at Windsor and I am helping out on Ray Spirit. So Ray Spirit is the sister company of Hempine CBD. And here we have all of the human products, which are really, really nice. Um, so yeah, everything's human um, grade and organic. And these are some of the other products here. So yeah, but I'll Sort of show you around the whole show. I obviously was here last year competing with Elf, so it's a bit different coming here on a bit more of a working basis. But yeah, uh, the sun is shining, so that is the main thing. Um, so I thought I'd show you some of the products. So we've got these lovely candles and bath salts at the top. So those have all got CBD in them. Uh, and then we have tea bags. And these are the oils that you can stir into food or smoothies. So this one is a plain version. Um, and then over here, we have got the chocolate version, which you can stir that into coffee or hot chocolate and things like that, or spread it on toast. Um, and then this is what I use. So this is the CBD oil droplet in, um, in the little vials here. So there's a 5% one or a 10% one. I use the 10% one. It's really, really good for my joint problems and also has really helped with perimenopause and insomnia because I was really struggling to sleep. So I found as soon as I started the CBD oil, it really, really started to help with my sleep patterns, which is a great relief because I've always been a terrible sleeper. Um, and also my dad uses that one because he was starting to get very shaky hands. And within three days of using that, his hands stopped shaking enough that he could sign checks again because he was starting to get checks rejected by the bank because his signature wasn't looking as it should do um, but yeah the CBD oil helped enough to stop that shaking so it's pretty amazing um, and then down here we have the face serum which I also use and I really love that because it has got CBD in it it's very soothing um, if you've got sensitive skin like I do it it doesn't affect your skin it's and it absorbs nicely it's very moisturizing as well so it's great for winter when you've been out in the rain as we have been a lot um, and then they've also got this massage oil so yeah obviously you've got to have somebody nice who will give you a massage to use that one um, and then uh, they also have these pouches which are CBD powder. Um, so this is a human grade powder so you can again put that into smoothies or food. Um, I actually give this to my dog and horse because I find it really helps. For my dog it helps with her anxiety and um, she can just be a little bit over the top in the car so it really helps with that and also uh, for my horse it helps amazingly for her arthritis so yeah it is a human product it's it's up to you whether you want to give it to your animal or not but it does really work for us so i recommend it so you may remember my vlog from last year i did actually take my own gelding il forbio to do the spanish parade class which is in the traditional tack and we came sixth um, so one of my provisos of me coming to help Ray Spirit was that they would let me sneak out to go and support my friends in the same class this year they were originally used as war horses and you will see that the Andalusian horses here the PRE horses have a very a lot of cadence a lot of lift into their step and they are used in dressage competitions also and are very successful at that and there are early written pedigrees of the Andalusian horses in the 13th century written by the Carthusian monks because the Carthusian monks were able for their intelligence for their agility and their ability to learn difficult moves quickly such as advanced collection and turns on the horses on the haunches and that's why they're so useful 
and compete in international dressage competitions. And descended from the Iberian horses of Spain and Portugal, deriving its name, original name, from the place of Andalusia in southern Spain. And cave paintings have shown that horses... The lady in the red jacket is my friend Alex, who I came to support. Like last year, they ran it as an English style class, which was a real shame. So rather than a full parade, um, none of the horses got to sort of do what they wanted to do. It was more of a set pattern and it was very short considering there were only four of them in the class as well. Um, it was the same last year. We just didn't have very much time to do an individual show and it, it was just, you had to do the set pattern and that was it. Um, and it's a real shame because, you know, when you go to the full parade classes at other places, they you can do pirouettes and people are piaffing and passaging and really showing the horses off, which is what it's all about. So I don't know why they don't do that format for this class, but hopefully they'll change that at some point in the future. Everyone had made a really good effort with correct turnout this year, which was really good. So this outfit is the Doma Vaquera, which is the more cowboy style with the heavy stirrups and the sombrero, and it's a heavier saddle. Reverse order, reverse order. Fourth place. Fourth place goes to 2393 Equatorina, the sixth, and Claire Elliott. Well done. In third place, third place is 1603, Irania the second, and Amanda Stewart. And in second, second place, 1924, Jaleo A.S., Alexandra Carrington. Which leaves our winner, what a look of shock, world and delight, I'm sure. Well done indeed, 1070. Quilati SB and Joy Lowe. Congratulations. Would you like to come forward? Huge congratulations, Sam. That's Quilati SB, 12-year-old grey gilding by the stallion Desperado out of the mare. Petenera. Read by Spanish horses in the correct Spanish tag and dress. Thank you for bringing them to the Royal Windsor Horse Show. And in first, huge congratulations to Joy, Loyla and Quillet SB. And Jaleo AS, Alexandra Carrington. And in third, Irania the second, Amanda Stewart. And in fourth, Equatoriana the sixth and Claire Elliott. Well done, Alex. Brilliant. After the class, I went back to the stand and then Alan Titchmarsh was opposite giving a talk, which was nice to see him. And these are a couple of pictures from the Saturday. And then on the Sunday, I was really chuffed to be able to meet Claire from FX. So Claire does all of my worm counts for my horses and specialises in advice for worming treatments for horses and doing the you know, uh, faecal egg counts under microscopes. But she's really lovely and we've been chatting for a long time so it's really great to meet her in person. And this is a little snippet of what I think is a lead rein class. So lots of little tots on their ponies being very well behaved and looking very smart and scrubbed up. So Joe and I are off to do a talk in the sustainability tent um, which we haven't really practised. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what it's going to go like we'll but um, find the tent. we're not sure where we're going but <laughs> hopefully we'll find it and um yeah let's hope there's a massive audience to listen to it all <laughs> this is pretty cool a nice garden sculpture of a horse topiary is actually real leaves which is quite cool so, oh, look at a, like an eagle flying eagle very nice. Um, so we're here at the um, sustainability stand, um, but there aren't really any people here, <laughs> as we suspected. So I'm not sure that we're really going to be doing our talk. But anyway, we'll see. It's all been good, learning about more about hemp and sustainability anyway. So. 
Um, so I'm just here at Flap Jackery. So I found these guys when I did my trade stand at the National Equine Show in the NEC. And uh, these were really, really nice as a kind of little quick grab treat between seeing customers. So this chap, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Martin. Martin. So Martin's going to tell us a little bit more about his lovely flapjacks. Okay, guys, so we're a Devon based company. We're based in Tavistock. Uh, we make oh, a million and one varieties of homemade flapjacks. We also do, uh, do um, different chocolates. Uh, everything we produce is gluten free, uh, which is really good for cater for all the sea jacks. Um, I've currently got about 19 flavours with me today. Wow, I'll just uh, zoom in on all of those. So, I mean, they are just delicious. This is my favourite one here, Raspberry Millionaires. But yeah, they are absolutely lovely. So, yeah. Come along and catch us at Badminton next week. At Badminton, right. Badminton okay, week, hopefully I'll get this edited before Badminton then. <laughs> where, el where else can we find you? Um, so Later. we've got 13 shops now down in the southwest. Okay. So Tavistock, Minehead, Ten Eyes, Plymouth, Bath, Wells, Foy, Sidmouth, Lewington, Barker. Okay, and do you do mail order as well? Mail order, we deliver anywhere in the country. Brilliant, okay. So if anyone wants to order any of these, they are www.flapjaffery.co.uk. So cool, right, thank you. Um, so these are belts from Mackenzie and George and I absolutely love these. This is the Drayton belt. Uh, so it's got the feathers in it and you can have it personalised with your monogrammed initials. So this is a birthday present for my husband, so I'll have to hide this video from him. But um, yeah, they've just got such lovely things on here. I've been following these guys since I saw them at Olympia in, I don't know, when was Olympia? It must have been years ago. Um, so yeah, they've got such sort of unique styles, I really like them, really high quality leather and they're a small family run business as well like my own so yeah, really nice to come along and see them here at Windsor as well. Now, these are also from Mackenzie and George and I love this one with the peacock feathers coming out. Um, so yeah, obviously these are beautiful feather pins to go on your hat. So, yeah, anyway, go check them out. They have got such nice... Then it was really great to see Rachel, who you'll know as Ray the Goth. She popped over to see me on the stand. And then we saw the Duke of Edinburgh, who is Edward, and his daughter Louise coming down the aisle. And it was really exciting. They stopped for a chat with us, and I've got to tell them about how I took Elf to the show last year. And, yeah, it was just really great. They were very enthusiastic and lovely to talk to. So, yeah. Uh, so it's been an exciting afternoon. We have met, well... Duke of Edinburgh, um, Edward, and his daughter Louise, who does carriage driving. She, um, and well, they came along to the stand and we had a quick chat with them and it was really, really lovely to talk to them both. They're so, yeah, really, really nice. And we talked about Elf doing Windsor um, in the Spanish parade class last year and um, about her carriage driving and yeah, just a really lovely chat. So it's very, very nice to meet them. And I'm still sat in the car park. Um, I actually got to my car about an hour ago. I'm still um, in this, I think I've moved about three car lengths in the last hour. Um, so I'm still just outside Windsor Castle. So I'm hoping we will get moving soon so that I can get back on the road. But anyway, it's been a really interesting and fun trip. I've met lots of lovely horse owners and dog owners and people with health issues that we've been able to help so it's been really fun and yeah always like Windsor it's always a just as nice a show isn't it it's a really just I don't know just being in the castle grounds just makes it a bit special I think so yeah really fun anyway hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride because uh, I was working I only had time to do to a couple of little stop offs in shops, but I did manage to stop off at show, I think they're called show pony prep. Yes, show pony prep. Um, and I've got a few plats for else. I don't know if you can see them in the bottom of there. They're, um, yeah, they are fake plats to just sew in where he's missing some mane when he's rubbed it out. Um, and the other thing I bought 
which I didn't realise that it was had all this on it, but I bought it just because I thought they'd like it to fling around and if they didn't, the dog would like it. Um, but it's got these little loops on it, which I think you can put carrots or treats in. So I'm quite looking forward to trying them with that. I think they're going to quite like it because they do like wanging things around and causing trouble. Um, yeah, I've just got here this morning and they have um, broken the slip rail down. Up, but luckily they stayed where they're meant to be. Uh, looks like they might have actually broken the slip rail, which isn't great, so might have a bit of trouble over that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's from QHP, and I found these Global Herbs treats that I'd had in the bin, um, and two of them fit in the loops quite nicely. So I'm gonna go and put it in the field and see what happens, whether they realize there's something in there. Um, and yeah, see what they get on, how they get on, should I say. So of course, Estrella was very interested. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now they're flying everywhere, Estrella. Right, I'm going to let Uncle Elfie out. Yeah. It was actually quite sweet that they played nicely with it and didn't fight, so yeah, shersies. So, I used to try buying things like this for Atia, and it was always a complete waste of money, but the Spanishers just love toys. They're just so inquisitive and it just takes them seconds to work things out. might have got them all out, Elfie. Australia took quite a few out. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching!